everyone, it's Rachel and today I just wanted to share with you another paranormal, spooky um, story time. I have tons of these. So I just want to share with you another one that um, came to mind um, in my old house when we were all um, a little bit younger. Um, we had baby dolls, obviously. Um, not obviously, but we had baby dolls. Hey! Um, and they were stored in my youngest sister's closet. She had a bin and we had this old wooden um, play crib and that's where the baby doll um, lived. Um, that was its home. And when activity first started picking up in our house where all of us noticed it, um, the activity was sort of centered around this doll. Now, in saying this, I am not by any stretch saying that this doll was doing these things by itself because I don't think it was. I don't think that's the case. But I'm just going to tell you the story and all that. So we would notice um, some small things with the doll. The doll would be moved out of the crib onto somewhere else um, occasionally and we were like, okay, well, that's weird. Um, and more off, like, the most thing that happened with it most often was um, the pacifier. It had a little pacifier that we would put in the mouth. Um, and we would all come, all of us left the house. My parents went to work, we went to school, no one was in the house. We would come home, pacifier out of the mouth, sitting next to it. And we were like, okay, someone's obviously doing this. Someone is trying to freak us out. Who keeps messing with the baby doll? Because after the first time, it's like, oh, that's weird. I thought we had the pacifier in its mouth. You know, things like that. And we were like, well, okay, well, what happens if we leave the pacifier out of its mouth? Um, so we would do that. We would leave. Everyone would leave. We'd come back pacifier in the mouth like it just it kept moving and we're like why is it why is this happening and so you know we were we were obviously a little bit freaked out and um so finally we we're like okay we're gonna take a picture of this we are going to document this and guys I don't know what happened to the pictures I can't insert them um I don't know if we even have them anymore because this was years and years ago but um so, we would all stand there, all stand there, witness my mother take a picture. We would all leave the room at the same time, leave the house at the same time. Now, mind you, the only people in my house that could drive at the time and that had a car hearing noises behind me um were my parents they were at work all day long so we all left all of us left at the same time life was good it was fine took a picture pacifier in the mouth we came home we're like hey let's go check on the baby doll we all got home um, well, we all got home at the same time because we didn't ride the bus because our bus was very scary. Um, so we, my mom picked us up. So we all got home at the same time. We went in, we walked in the house. I mean, we didn't walk in together, but like, you know, we walked in the house together. We rode in the same car, um, walked in. The pacifier out of the mouth. What? So we were like, okay, this is this is crazy. Um, and we're like, okay, well maybe it's just falling out of the mouth. You know, like maybe it's just it's getting loose throughout the day and it's just falling out. Okay, we're gonna hide this pacifier. So we hid it across the closet in another bin 
underneath something. So we're like, okay, we're gonna make this hard because there's no way we could all forget this happening and put it there. So we took a picture of where we put it. We took a picture of the baby doll and we're like, okay, pacifier out of the mouth, across the closet, in there, underneath something. I have hairs just all over me, I'm shedding so much. We leave, take pictures, we leave. We come home, guys, the pacifier is with the baby doll. <sighs> anyway, so that was super creepy. And then finally we're like, whew, I don't know what is with this baby doll, but man, something likes this baby doll. So then one night, out of nowhere, it was after dinner, I was um, helping my mom with dishes, but I was also kind of watching her do dishes. Like I was like standing on one side of the counter and then I jumped over and helped her load the dishwasher. Um, and that's just kind of what I did. And um, I had gone in my room a couple times. Everyone else in my house was downstairs. Mind you, where I was standing, I would have seen anybody walk up the stairs or walk down the hallway because that's how my house was set up. And I would have heard them too because we had like old, it wasn't old floors, but like we had noisy floors. So, um, yeah, I would have heard someone. Everyone was downstairs. I could hear them all downstairs. So I went in my room, um, cause I heard something and I was like, well, that's weird. And I walked in and my alarm clock had been like knocked off the desk next to my bed. And I was like, okay, well, that's weird. My cat probably did it. Uh, she was probably trying to jump in the window and she knocked the alarm clock over. It's probably what happened. I didn't think anything of it. I went in, I fixed the alarm clock. I looked over, I looked at my bed, actually, because I was looking for my cat. I was like, well, where is she? And then I didn't see her and I was like, oh, okay. Looked at my bed, nothing out of the, I mean, I made my bed. So bed still made, nothing out of the ordinary. I leave. I come back in and I'm scanning the room for any additional dishes to make sure we got them all. My alarm clock had been moved again and I was like, well, you know, maybe my cat came in bumped it. Whatever. Now my cat wasn't even in the room, but that was just what I thought. I was, okay, well, something bumped it. Whatever. Looked at my bed again. Um, just because that was the way I turned my body. I just turned my body this way and my bed was here. So I was like, okay, nothing out of the ordinary. Went back. Everyone's still downstairs. I'm, I'm like facing the hallway, kind of. I'm like facing the hallway and then I would turn my back and I would talk to my mom. So she was facing the hallway. Nothing. I go in. My alarm clock had been knocked over one more time. And you guys, the baby doll in my sister's closet next door was tucked into my bed, covers tucked, head on my pillow, tucked into my bed. I obviously freaked the freak out and like, it's like, uh, mom, can you come in here? Like, I was like freaking out. She comes in and she's like, oh, did you do this? I'm like, why would I do this? Why would I do this? And then... We called everyone else up and we were like, what have you guys been, like, no one had come upstairs at all. We would have heard them. Guys, I went in my room a few times and I didn't even, I didn't see it there. It had not been there. And you guys, I still to this day do not know how that happened. I don't know how it ended up in my bed. I don't know why it was tucked in. Whew, gives me the creeps. Anyway. And then we had little stuff like the baby don't move and then like the pacifier would be in and out of its mouth and I'm like, oh, oh please don't be in my bed again. <sighs> anyway, I just thought I would share with you this creepy little story. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.